I have quite literally for years been on the hunt for protection for windshields and side glass that I truly like. Now this is not rock chip protection, but this is a protection, a hydrophobic coating, if you will, for increased visibility on windshields and side glass. And I think I've finally found the one. So welcome back to another out of spec detailing video. Let's jump into it. So here we are with a Tesla Model Y. This is one of my customer's vehicles that is coming in for a full ceramic coating protection package. And I've been asked this a lot. What do you use on glass? And to be honest, I haven't had a good answer. So I focus a lot on doing ceramic coatings on paint, on black plastic trim, on wheels, but glass has really been lacking. And why is that? Well, let's, before we jump into this, talk about what I've used in the past. So I've used a lot of full strength ceramic coatings on glass that I haven't loved. And let's talk about that. So a lot of the times with doing these really strong ceramic coatings with the glass, you come in here, you have to either hand polish or machine polish the entire glass, and it is extremely messy. This is a very, very strong abrasive because glass is so hard um, that it has to remove all that contamination. Problem with all that stuff, it gets in all these rubber seals, it gets splattered all over you. It's quite realistically a mess to deal with. So I've tried some of those. The other issue I've had was with the application process. They go on, you buy them in really small bottles. They're extremely expensive. You can barely finish an entire car. Then after you get it wiped off, you've got high spots, you've got streaky spots. It's just a mess. So I haven't loved a product like that. There's also other products out there like rain -X, but in a professional um, area like I work on, really not a dedicated product that I wanna be using. So I've been reaching out to the guys at Gion. As you guys may know, I'm a certified detailer for Gion products. And um, I, I asked them, okay, what are you guys using for this? And they said, you gotta try Gion Quick View. And this stuff is really, really cool. Now, the thing with windshield coatings, what you're trying to do here is repel dirt, of course. You're trying to um, protect it against some water spotting. But very importantly, this is almost a safety concern. As I'm gonna show you in a demonstration later, a side-by-side -side of before and after, when you have no protection on your windows, it sheets water down and it can be really treacherous and scary to drive in a situation with a lot of rain, a lot of snow. So keep that in mind. This is really a nice product for that. Now, in between using those ceramic coatings and what I've used here today, I've been using this product. It's called Geo on wet coat and typically this is meant to be used on paint on wheels on trim but it happens to work on glass now the longevity of this product is around six months for paint and areas like that but what happens is when you put it on a windshield and you start using your wipers it really degrades that level of protection this is basically a ceramic spray that goes on and almost within a couple of weeks to a month the coating is completely gone here on the windshield area so you need something a little stronger but again like I said the stronger products and stronger um, ceramic coatings I've used have really not worked out well so a couple things I like about this it's easy to use I'm going to show you through the whole process of how to use it it is basically two products is all you need and it works so freaking well again also the safety aspect you've now got rain repellency so you drive down the road you're not using your wipers as much which helps the longevity of the coating speaking of longevity this is a six month application so we're not talking a three four year window coating the Big thing with this, it's so simple to use that you do it every six months while you're hand washing your car. It's really not that big of a deal. So let's jump into this. I'm gonna put a piece of tape down the windshield. The passenger side is going to be our before and our after. I'm gonna show you how to prep all of this, the actual install of it, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So on this one, I'm only gonna do half the windshield. The reason I wanna do that is I wanna be able to spray down our before side on our after side so you guys can see the true difference in what QuickView does. Now let's talk about preparation and steps. So 
I've actually already washed this car. You wanna make sure the car's clean. You don't want it filled with dirt, anything like that. Now this um, window was pretty filled with contamination. So it had some bug guts on it, had some tree sap, um, just kind of con general contamination. Now Gion doesn't require that you do this, but it is recommended as kind of a pro tip to clay the windows. So you can use that when you're washing the car while there's still soap, quickly, scrub on a mild or medium clay on the windshield and side windows, and it's gonna be super easy to use. Next, let's talk about the other products we need here. So we have a solution called PrEP. Now, Gion says that you can either use PrEP or you can use a glass cleaner before installing QuickView. Super simple solution. The reason I wanna use this, it's gonna strip all the oils, old protection, any sort of anything off the windows. Same thing we use on paint, wheels, trim, um, when we're applying ceramic coatings. It's gonna give QuickView a chance to physically bond to it. So we've got a glass towel for that. And then this is our applicator of QuickView. This is really cool. It's got an integrated applicator, nothing else, super easy. Your fluid reservoir is up here. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks on this. So next step here, we're going to come in here and take prep and spray this down. Should be noted, you guys wanna make sure you are working um, out of direct sunlight. This is not something you wanna do sitting in your driveway on a hot summer afternoon, pull it into the garage or into the shade if you have the ability to do so. You also wanna make sure that this dries completely before you start your install of QuickView. And honestly, this is that simple. So if you are reapplying this after six months, all you're gonna come back and do, you notice that quick view has started to degrade a little bit. Gonna come back in, spray it down with prep and reapply. It is so simple to use this stuff. So let's jump into the actual application. So we've got our completely dry window now here, contamination free, we've got prep on it. So next, what are the steps? Well, you're gonna wanna work this in a circular motion. You don't wanna be doing this in kind of a um, horizontal, vertical, straight lines type of deal. Um, that is going to increase the chance of streaking this product. Now this is a very streak free product. Again, I'll show you through all of this. So all you do is squirt a little here on the applicator and start working in small circular motions. You do wanna keep this off the paint, um, so keep that in mind, but it is a very, very simple application. No dealing with a bunch of polish you have to do before, um, no sticky ceramic coatings. Stuff is nice and slick and just goes on so well. So just work in sections like I'm doing here. When you start seeing that you need a little bit more, definitely squirt some out there. I like to work in these cell blocks, making sure that I am getting every single square inch of this windshield protected here. So it is that simple on the window here. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit tighter and show you what this looks like. So this is how it should look, nice and consistently even. We've got it spread all over the windshield. Now you definitely can get tighter into areas like this. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. I'll be doing all of the glass at a later time during the course of this detail. But this is what it should look like. It looks kind of crazy, so it's almost this sweating um, look to it. So let's talk about how long you wait. So I've had some conflicting um, things from Gion, what they say. Everything that I look at is a little bit different. So from what I understand, it's between five and 20 minutes um, of time to cure on here, and then you're gonna wanna wipe it off with a damp microfiber. So I think on the five minutes, that's kind of the low end range. On the 20 minutes, that's probably the maximum. So somewhere in that time. So what I would say you could absolutely do is do all of the glass at once, come back to that same point you started on here. So say I start on the driver's side windshield, work my way around the vehicle. It's probably gonna take you about you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe at the most, doing the full sunroof and everything. Um, yeah, come back to here, we'll wipe it with a damp towel. I'm gonna show you that whole process as this goes, but now it's a little bit of waiting game on this. And just like that, YouTube magic, it's been about 20 minutes now. So what are the next steps? So we've got a damp microfiber towel. It doesn't exactly matter if you're using a expensive one. These are kind of cheap. And all you're going to do is come in here with this damp towel, 
wipe this down. It comes off extremely easy. This is not something you're sitting there have to scrub like all of the other ceramic coatings. It is really nice and simple. I'm gonna flip over here and just do some straight wipes just to make sure I got all of that residue off. And we're gonna let this dry. Now, typically what I would do after this from a professional detailer's perspective, I would let this dry for a little bit. You're gonna have a little bit of water residue, totally fine. I would come back in here afterwards, clean this with my glass cleaner, um, about 20, 30 minutes maybe at the absolute most, and wipe it down and you'll be good to go. Well, apologies for skipping ahead. I had some camera malfunctions here. So of course you can see here, this is our uncoated side, untreated. While on the driver's side, look at the results there. Let me show you a live demonstration with water on it too. Just a massive, massive difference. Driving in the rain with this can be extremely tricky, can be also very hazardous, whereas this is beating up quite nice. As you're driving down the road, this is going to fly off. So just an absolutely huge, huge difference there. Well guys, thanks for joining me on another out of spec detailing video. All of the products that I use today will be in the link in the description below just a massive before and after results with Gion Quick View. I think you guys are gonna love this product. I know it's definitely gonna be one of those that is going to stay in my detailing arsenal. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in another one very, very soon. Bye-bye.